Oh, right. So you downloaded my dynamic camera sh cameraman shadow from uh, Gumroad, and you're in your little folder that you extracted from the zip, and you enter into the blend file. This is all normal. Then once you get into here, you go into rendered mode, you play it back to see your sequences, and then they're now boxes for some reason. This is just due to the fact that it's all image sequences. Image sequences are just consecutive .png files, and the .png files just kind of, they're there. I don't know. They're just image sequences. I'm really bad at tutorials. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you want to fix the boxes and make the actual guy appear, the cameraman shadow, we gotta go to this main kind of big section right here. Don't be scared. It, this is all we're gonna need for this. Go to walk, which is just the first sequence, and then click on this little folder button right here that says open image. So when you open that, just find where you downloaded, where, where the folder that you downloaded and extracted is. All right, so here it is. You're gonna see five different files. You got walk, or folders. We got walk, sequence, run, sprint, injur injured run, and poses. The main one you're gonna need right now is walk sequence 60 FPS. So just uh, double click on this, and then either you can come up here, sort by name, and it'll give you the first one. I wouldn't recommend doing that because it's gonna make it a pain to find the rest of the files later. Just scroll down to the bottom, click on this first one, then press A on your keyboard, and click open image. Now, some people might have realized that nothing had changed. I was um, lucky, but if you notice that you're still a box right here, you gotta change frames to one. Now it'll play correctly. We gotta do that for the rest of these. So we got walk, we finished walk. We can come down here to run, click on this little thing right here, find where you downloaded it. Let's just check that it is run. Once you know that it's run, you can go to run sequence, scroll down to the bottom, click on this first one, A on the keyboard, and then hit open image, change this, to one and then do that for the rest of them injured run go to where you downloaded it find injured run go down to the bottom click this one hit a on your keyboard and open image then set this to one and for the last time click on your open image go to your downloads or wherever you downloaded it to go to run scroll to the bottom click on this one hit a and then open image and then hit turn this to one right okay so you fixed all your issues as far as i know and now you have a working animated cameraman shadow. If it's not working for some reason, just let me know in the comments. Uh, mine's kind of glitching out a little bit. I think that's just because I'm rendering, that's all. So you've got everything fixed. Now your animations play out just fine. How do you put these in other files? Well, it's actually, <laughs> it's pretty simple. All you have to do is, so go to the file that you want. I'm just gonna create a new one. Uh, I'm just gonna prepare like some sort of scene. We got our beautiful camera, it's right there. So basically to kind of append your file to this one, all you have to do is find your blend file that you downloaded. So that's gonna be in my downloads. It's gonna look like this. Double click on it, go to collection, and click on cameraman shadow. What it'll do is it'll, it will create this. I kind of added bounds to it so then you can see it better. This is just so that you can see it when you have like complicated scenes. We got our cameraman. In fact, you can see the shadow in our EV render and it should be working just fine. Yep, perfect. Okay, so to kind of, you have it in your scene. So if you want to add it to your camera or like kind of parent it in a way, all you have to do is click on this. We're just gonna rotate it. In fact, the best way to do it is just do this, control C and then copy rotation. That's if you have the copy attributes add-on turned on in your blender. We're just gonna kind of align this. And once you've found success, what I like to do when it comes to camera animation and doing stuff like this is I like to add an empty. So if we were to add an empty, let's just kind of bring it up to where a guy would be. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to zero all this out. That's not what I meant to do. What am I doing? Uh, transform. Um, I'm sorry, I'm brain farting. Okay, I'm just gonna zero all this out right now. What I like to do is I like to take my camera, we pull it out a little bit. We got our camera like this. I like taking the camera, parenting it to an empty, control P, object, and then um, parenting the cameraman shadow to the empty also. So then when you animate it, you can rotate it like this. It shouldn't rotate with the actual empty like that because I've added a constraint and I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's just so then when you rotate it, 
when it comes to like rotating like this or this i'd recommend doing that in the camera so then you don't have the issue of this getting thrown everywhere um sorry i have, I have my fingers out of saving uh yeah another way but i'm not really good at this kind of camera stuff uh parenting to a moving camera i'm sorry um if you have a flat surface what you can do is you can um go into constraints limit location and just limit the z so then it can't move up and down and then when you rotate it it'll be a little less no it's still pretty weird that's just used if you're parenting this to the camera so if you were to parent it to the camera still still pretty weird someone will find a fix to that hey editor tasman here um if you do want to fix this uh issue right here what you can do is you can actually just shift s cursor to active and then go to the um shadow and go object set origin origin to 3d cursor and that'll basically fix it so then you don't have to deal with that annoying weirdness anymore um yeah i know there will be but um so here i'm just going to give a kind of general tutorial on how to use this basically all of these explain themselves if you have visible on camera you can see that you can actually see the shadow it won't be in the reflections but if you turn on appear in reflections it'll also be there too you can also just turn on visible on camera um a bug that i'm gonna fix here real soon uh in fact it might not even be in your version is um when you turn on visible on camera but then you turn off cast to shadow it also makes the uh camera invisible yeah that's pretty much my cameraman shadow i hope you enjoyed if you like, leave a rating on Gumroad and like the video and subscribe, I guess. I'm working on...